In my last video, we looked at inscribed angles and the relationship between an inscribed angle, angle B, and the arc that it intercepts, which would be arc ADC. And we saw that an inscribed angle, its measure is equal to half the arc that it intercepts. So no matter what, as I adjust the size of the arc, the angle does get bigger, but the measure of the angle, 47.57, is equal to half the measure of the arc. All right, so that was the last video. Let's take a look at some corollaries to this theorem. All right, here we have an inscribed angle, angle ABC, and I've highlighted the arc that it intercepts. Suppose there's another angle that intercepts the same arc, and that's angle ADC. Well, the measure of angle ADC is half of our, the arc AC because it's an inscribed angle. The measure of angle ABC is also half of the arc AC because it's an inscribed angle. It doesn't matter where along the circle I move point B, it's still going to be half of arc AC. You can see at some point it's going to fall right on top of D, so they're the same angle. So no matter what, those two angles are congruent. So here we have two inscribed angles in the same circle intercepting the same arc. So they're each half of that arc, so their measures are equal, and they have to be congruent. So the theorem is if two inscribed angles in the same circle intercept the same arc, then those angles are congruent. Angle B, angle D, inscribed angles intercepting arc AC. So angle B and angle D are congruent. Another one is a special type of inscribed angle. Uh, some people would say that it's an inscribed angle inside of a semicircle or an inscribed angle that intercepts the endpoints of a diameter um, or an inscribed angle that intercepts an arc that is a semicircle. So however you see it written or heard it talked about, it's the same picture. Here we have angle ABC inscribed in the circle and AC is a diameter because it passes through the center. So angle B is half of this arc. Well, since the whole circle is 360, that makes this arc 180 degrees. So angle B would have to be 90. And again, it doesn't matter where I move angle B or how I turn that diameter. Angle B is an inscribed angle that's intercepting the endpoints of the diameter or inscribed inside of a semicircle. So here is a semicircle and the angle is inscribed inside there. Its measure is always 90 degrees because it is half the arc that it intercepts. And this just relates back to the inscribed angle being half the measure of the arc it intercepts. We got one more corollary for inscribed angles, corollary being just a little extension uh, to a theorem. Here we have a quadrilateral inscribed inside of a circle. Uh, just like an inscribed angle means it's got its vertex on the circle, a, when a quadrilateral is inscribed inside of a circle it means that all of its vertices fall on that circle. All right, so here are all the angle measures. And something we know about quadrilaterals in general is that the sum of their angles is 360. Let's focus on angle B and angle D and the arcs that they intercept. Angle B intercepts this orange and green dashed arc, which has a measure of 209. Angle D intercepts the green arc, 
which has a measure of 151. And here I have a calculation. The measure of ADC, 209, plus, a, plus ABC, measure of that arc, equals 360, which should make sense because we're talking about the green arc plus the orange arc making a full circle. Well, let's look at those angle measures again for B and D. Measure of angle B is about 101. Measure of angle D, 79 degrees. And what do those add up to? 180, which is half of 360. Together, these two add up to 180. If we look at the other two, we don't have the arcs drawn for them in nice colors, but angle A and angle C 72 plus 108 also adds up to 180. Move things around a little bit. 101 and 79, that's the same. Move those. 122 and 58 still add to three. Uh, still add to 180. 94 and 86 those still add to 180. So what we, what we have here in a quadrilateral inscribed inside of a circle, the opposite angles add up to 180, or are supplementary. All right, so those are four theorems that, uh, well, actually th three corollaries to a theorem uh, about inscribed angles. Inscribed angles, angle with their vertex on the circle, equal to half the measure of the arc it intercepts. If two angles are inscribed inside the same circle and intercept the same arc, those two angles are congruent. If an angle is inscribed inside a semicircle, it's got to be a right angle. And finally, when a quadrilateral is inscribed inside of a circle, the opposite angles, angle B and angle D, are supplementary, or angle C and angle A are supplementary.